Assalamu alaikum. My name is Lappi and in today's video I will tell you the story of Prophet Suleiman alayhi salam. Prophet Suleiman alayhi salam was born and raised in Jerusalem, Palestine. He was the son of Prophet Dawood alayhi salam and just like his father Prophet Suleiman was greatly loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted Prophet Suleiman with miracles that no other Prophet had. Prophet Suleiman could understand and communicate with all kinds of animals and he could command the wind. The army of Prophet Suleiman once came to a valley which happened to be the home of ants. Seeing this great army, one ant said to the other, Hide in your homes before Prophet Suleiman and his army crush you under their feet. Prophet Suleiman understood what the ants had said. He smiled to himself and thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the special gifts he had been given. Prophet Suleiman achieved amazing achievements during his lifetime. The Quran tells many stories of Prophet Suleiman and his amazing achievements. We can read about the story of Hudhud and Prophet Suleiman wondrous throne. One of the most beloved things to Prophet Suleiman was Masjid al-Aqsa. Masjid al-Aqsa was first built by Prophet Adam Islam. After hundreds of years, it was rebuilt by Prophet Ibrahim Islam. After many generations, it again fell to ruins. When Prophet Dawood Islam became king of Jerusalem, he began to rebuild the masjid, but died before it was completed. Prophet Suleiman and his army of helpers continued Prophet Dawood work and finished rebuilding the blessed masjid. Whilst he was rebuilding Masjid al-Aqsa, Prophet Suleiman made a special dua to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asked for three things. First, he asked to be wise, so that whatever decision he made between people who were arguing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be pleased. Second, he asked for a kingdom that no one before or after him would have. Finally, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive the sins of any person who visits Masjid Al-Aqsa and to make that person as pure as the day he or she was born. The rebuilding of the Masjid continued. Prophet Suleiman also built the Dome of the Rock which is a beautiful building with a golden dome opposite Masjid Al-Aqsa. As time went on, Prophet Suleiman knew that his time in this world was coming to an end and he worried that the Masjid would remain unfinished after he passed away. One day, Prophet Suleiman leaned on his walking stick, watching the workers rebuild Masjid al-Aqsa. Whilst he was watching, Prophet Suleiman passed away.
But even though his soul was gone, Prophet Suleiman remained upright, propped on his walking stick. No one realised that Prophet Suleiman was no longer with them. And thinking that he still watched them, the workers continued to build. Eventually, ants began to eat away at the bottom of Prophet Suleiman Islam's walking stick. The little ants ate and ate until the stick could not hold Prophet Suleiman Islam up anymore. When the stick fell out of his hand, the great Prophet Suleiman Islam fell to the ground. Everyone rushed to help, but when they reached him, they saw that he had passed away some time ago. In the meantime, Welcome on Masjid Al-Aqsa had continued without any interruptions, and the rebuilding was complete. The story of Prophet Suleiman Islam's death shows us how by ensuring that the building of Masjid Al-Aqsa is completed, Allah answered Prophet Suleiman Islam's prayer to forgive the sins of those who visit the blessed masjid. May Allah's peace be upon him. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content. Allah Hafiz and see you in the next video. Thank you.